Oh my god, did we just get Zed no, from my right? No way! Let's no, go. no, 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 that didn't Wait. just happen. That did the not just man. happen. What? No way, Zed? What do we have here? Vayne top lane? No way! <laughs> oh my god. Probably. They show no mercy against Tolkien. Tolkien is like, can we be friends? And Zeus says no. Yes. 5v5 mid? The square up? The showdown. West Side Story, baby, it starts snapping. All right. Initial hits coming through. Oh, they're taking shots. They're taking shots. Zayas pops the ghost. Already ghosting. Faker with the poke. Zayas. Oh my god, Zayas. Taking a lot of damage. I don't know if that was a positive trade. Dagger in. He's looking. Can they really make anything happen here? Level four. That's like Ghost Brand. I have zero idea what it can oh, do, look, but it's about to be nasty. They go to heal pop. Loki going forward. Guma holding on to the flash for now. Agurin, can he get the predict? Goes for the conflagrate, goes for the seer. Quick flash away. Still a ton of damage. Taking, burning, but will not finish the kill. Thumbs up from Agurin as they get the summoners out from Guma Yushi. Here comes the dive top. Oh, knocked into the wall. Owner immediately going to go for the follow up. Slaps back. Gives him the high five. Quick first blood on the top side. Poor Tolkien. He's dreamed about here. Support him, but that Bartle, uh -oh. as we get later in the game, with the brand, could be big. Oh. Zayas is a casual backstep. Adaptive defensive is now coming through, but Zayas just taking his time with this one. One more. Otto goes in for the sweep, denies the healing. Zayas, the quick 1v1 kill, the solo Bubolo. Over here. Yep. Owner gonna get denied if he goes in. No, he doesn't stack it, so the stun comes through. Instead, they just portal back into Owner. I like to play. Brokey, full confidence. Gets Zach passes out, but now he needs to get the hell out of Dodge the Bloblets. Can they take him down? Agurin looking to burn somebody. Big damage. Agurin grabbing first blood for the side of NNO. Carney now on the run. Guma looking to make it happen with a four shot. Carney getting lower and lower, taking flash out to safety, but NNO will get the kill. E into as the Q is flying into the air. You hit them with the E, and then you can. Uh connect that stun. Maybe he was too close. I didn't quite Ooh. tell if he got the timing off. Carry now in danger. Here, it doesn't matter. Agurin hitting like a truck faker going in. Trying to scooch and he whiffs. Clean footwork from NNO, but it doesn't matter. Agurin goes down. One of the five deaths promised by our analyst desk. Carney on the way mid though. Maybe could change that. Level six for no way. Here we go. Going in. Ulting immediately. Faker no ultimate available quite yet. They're just gonna try to cut him down. Agurin on the way in as well. Three members mid to take down Faker. Agurin grabbing another kill. That he will. Three kills for Agurin now on the brand. Do you think that that's what Agurin is trying to channel right now? The gold brand mid? Yeah. Maybe. Maybe he's digging deep within himself to bring back that red thread. <laughs> 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 five years ago now. Yeah. Quick kill though on the bottom side. Ooh, the heal. Carney giving up one to give Gumiyushi false confidence. That's a dull. Oh, Brokey oh. was not giving that one up, and now it's bouncing back and forth. Can they lock up the brand? Karia still standing. Agura desperate to finish the kill. Karia ticking down, but he will survive. Guma and T1 clean on the bottom side. The bot lane of T1 find three kills. I see owner as well hovering around the mid lane. This top lane matchup is absolutely horrible. Tolkien goes in. Continue on him. Good damage on Isaiah. Isaiah's gonna be forced to ultimate here. No way, gonna ult try to get away from something. Oh! Nice clean footwork. They're under the tower. Baker now trying to push back, but Owner was already there waiting. No way, desperate to get something back. Owner ticking away. No way! There's no way he lives, but he does it! And uh, Jin has double buffs and hits like a literal truck. There it is, that's the truck. Oh, Agarin. Truck, Agarin over the wall, managing to find a bit more damage, gets the kill. Quick trade back though, but Carrier already locked up. Maybe they can try to find the fall. Binding back into the wall. Brokey immediately gonna ult. Carrier now gonna be in trouble. How far does Brokey wanna go? And a kill onto Gumiyushi. No easy feat. In Multiple more. games in the World Finals, he went deathless. Oh, oh. Back uh oh, uh oh. A little bit of healing. Tolkien now running, has to ult, but he's dead anyway. The shield coming through, he'll go down too. But on the bottom side, they managed to get another kill. The side of T1, 4 to 10 now the score. Look at that, Leandri's completed along with the Salt Shoes. He's going to be doing a lot. Ooh, the Ghost. The damage, Gurren caught out, just trying to get a bit more damage out on Isaiah. Carney flashing forward. Magical journey out to safety. Makes the heist happen. Tolkien now 1v1 versus Faker. It's a dream come true when he it's runs away. True. T1 with their 12 to 5 kill advantage. They're looking to secure a second five plates, by the way. <laughs> We're not even at the 14 minute mark. No way though. Does he have the shadow up? Didn't see if he used that earlier. I mean, Zach is very squishy. That is a Conqueror Landry Zach. So yeah, goodbye. Passive still gonna be up. Who do they want to give the kill to is the question. No way perhaps. Yeah, that would make sense. I thought Tolkien was gonna walk in and steal it. And I was like, buddy, you're a big fan. He's gonna check with the soldier here and see it in a second. Are they gonna be able to react instantly? 
right over the wall. Instant brand damage now going to follow up. Baker oh. slides, glides, gets a little tricky with it, but there's already the portal there. Owner does big damage, though. Keep in mind, it is the AP Zach. Have to be a little bit careful. Carrier coming over the wall. Nice sidestep. Baker now taken down. Tolkien now coming back in. Carry over the wall, looking for his moment, but he will not find it. That's two kills for NNO. Good punish on the bot side of the map. They're going to get some plates for themselves. I think the timing wouldn't have uh, found the kill, and they most likely would have retreated. But Kuma no now going to be in trouble. One shirt is only going to connect. No way. Should be able to grab this one. A great coming in and taking it. And here comes Owner, zoned away from the Tier 2 tower. TP TP's behind. here we go. Arnie coming in, manages to line the stun on the Zyra. Zayus now coming in as well. Tolkien off to the side. Guma should just get taken down, deleting the most of the member before the fight even starts. It's clean, it's calculated from NNO. Zayus isolated for a brief moment, going back in. Zayus getting chipped away at. Carney flashing out safety, has to be careful. I mean, no. Well, they're going to need a miracle to win this game. They're at a pretty significant deficit. They're looking for this mid top. Faker. Going for the shuffle, hitting Tolkien. They can just portal out to safety. And that's what they'll do. Two tower. Agron continues to counter jungle. Owner. Has to be careful about walking up here. Damn, Owner. <laughs> oh my goodness, man. Just getting chunked. All right, passive down. Carney needs to body block some of these shots here. Stepping forward. They should just be able to get Owner. Should just be able to walk out. Easy pickup for NNO. Can the punish come through from T1? Carry is on his way. Fans are ready. Ooh, a Gurn off to the side. Carney now just running, giving his life up. The sacrificial bard will get taken down, but a Gurn makes it out to safety. Crucially, does not give up that shutdown. 8-4-4. Four, and four. Broke a bit more damage. Going in on the Caria. Look for the solo bullet. Flash over. Manages to get it. Baker now on the way in. How much longer on the shift? Root, not quite going to connect. Brokey, going to make it out to safety. And then, no, are finding their confidence. And look, Tolkien, has he found his hero? Here we go. No, he hasn't. Not quite. Sidestep from Faker. Yeah. No. Oh. He did. Oh, yeah, you're right. Shut down. I'm getting too lost in the moment here. As Faker up. going in. Push it back. Urgarn, that's your most important target. Does manage to push a couple buttons there. We'll take one out with him. No way in trouble on the bottom side. Zayus untouched. No way. Still with cooldowns up and available. Harold now coming through. Gumiyoshi from so far away, just laying down damage on this bar. Clean side step coming out from Carney to survive for now. Will not get hit by the deadly flourish. That tower getting lower and lower. Zaya stepping Ooh. into no way, doesn't quite have the damage that he needs. Tolkien might look for a bit of revenge up to the laning phase. Owner now going to be in trouble. No way going back in. The death mark on to Zeus. Will not finish him, but the kill still goes down anyway. Tolkien still living for now. Carney now trying to step forward, but Guma is so damn strong. It's a three for three. But T1 still have their AD carry, and they're going to secure a tower as a result. I think they'll be forced to back away, though. Agarin's back out onto the map. Tolkien, no TP, means no flank for him. But Carney is not giving any leeway. Just wants to stop the backs. TP for no way, maybe, is the angle. Nope, just waiting for Gokurin to ghost his way in there. Carrier now locked up, will get taken down. Guma on the run. Tolkien going to continue to chase. Doesn't have the flash. No way sees Guma. Guma's going to be in trouble here. Can he get the drive-by steal? Vision Owner, yet. the Zach signature move. Is he a gamer? He's into the pit. He's AP Zach. It's getting lower and lower. Who's going to get it? Owner steals it away from NNO. And now Agarn is in trouble. How many cooldowns does he have left for Faker? They must have tried to burn the objective down, but still the Azir is getting shredded. Zayas untouched for now. Broken needs to make his way out and over the wall. He doesn't have the cooldowns available. Agarn, maybe one combo could be enough, but it will not happen. Double 80 carries from the side of T1 cleaning house. That's it. Oh, double carries. They're going to spot him. This is a bit awkward. I don't think he can make it out, but now he has to see if he can take someone with him. Yeah, he's going to look for Guma, I think. Yeah, Guma knows he's the more vulnerable link here. The pushback is there. No way going to be forced to ult shortly. Oh, no. He just does not have enough time. He needs to get the hell out of dodge. He's going to have to ult somebody. Where's the W cooldown going to go? He doesn't even get a chance to do anything. Broke. He just taken out two lambs to the slaughter. Zayas and Guma together. Again, double 80 carries. Looking to close this one out. Backs have been stopped. Brand damage is good, but not good enough to finish the kill onto Owner. The wave is here. Might be an unceremonious exit here. TP now coming in for oh, Tolkien. No, they're not going to end, are they? they are just going to end. Give him a fight, T1. One last shot, Brokey. No way is here, maybe. Maybe they can make it happen, but he's going instantly in onto Gumiyushi. He needs to find Oh, Guma. The is there. Guma's too clean, Faker. Coming in as well. The last stand for Edna will not be enough. But T1 still looking to finish it in style. One kill traded back.
They're not hitting the Nexus now. They are hitting the Nexus. It's just done for a Carney. Tolkien now coming in. Can they just kill Baker? They do. The Nexus is still standing. Tolkien walking forward. The ulti not available. Tolkien has to be careful, but here comes a Gurren. Good damage. Zayus is supposed. just fighting them. He could end. And they're killing them. Yes, and an O. They live to fight another day. They hold the line. Gurren over the wall. Not going to connect on the Baker. Besides, that's just about everything there. No way. Immediately going to ult owner. Good damage now coming out, but he gets locked up from so far away by Kuma. But crucially, that's the Dust Blade, baby. The ultimate from Kanye will buy a bit of time as well. 5v4 in favor of NNO. No way's ultimate is out. not going to be on a long cooldown. They can push in. They have to go absolutely cycle Zayus. if they want to push for the Zayus continuing to step up here. He's very beefy, but it's so much damage. He's now bringing it back to the rest of his team. Will tumble away just in time so no one else gets hit. He pushes Agar and back. But they have Zayus no way. Lower and lower. Siege. Baron is up in the a bit. So cocky. Oh, Bard hitbox! It's so good. Why is it so huge? Nobody knows, but they make it happen. They're scared of NNO. <laughs> they will rush the Nexus. And we'll know forever that they were scared. Oh, flash Gary, in. Now going in. Agurin doesn't have any defensive tools, so he's just going to get cut down. But they're managing to take one back. Tolkien also getting taken off the board. And T1 just slaughtering them in the base. No way just hasn't been able to do anything. Living Shadow out to safety. Oh. It's not even the fourth shot. It's just the second bullet. Doesn't even need all four. T1, we're not scared. T1 take the fight, and they take down NNO.